going to get to the box now <laughs> and this is the box for the day so I am doing um, a challenge over on Instagram you can follow my Instagram page I'll link it below um, with uh, Damaris and Caroline from the reset community that I'm part of um, I'm also a member there and I just love these girls and how creative they are and how much we have in common Damaris, Damaris I'm not sure how to pronounce it I, I, I try to listen to Corey when she says her name I think it's Damaris Damaris it's a beautiful name I want to know what it means um, she's a very very talented lady and she's on her team I think she she manages the design team and she is launching this challenge on her Instagram page um, and she's actually got my sister's personality type so we should get along perfectly because my sister and I we are like this right um, so I decided I'm not gonna buy a memory dex because I'm a hand crafter I like making my own things so I designed this box last night just love it it's a perfect size you work with 12 inch pages to decide um, the side uh, the size sorry um, and I used one sheet of A4 chipboard and two paper straws and some fun foam and your paper and that's about it some embellishments and there is nothing to this it's so easy so it's just a box without a lid and I didn't even glue my little um, straws in here I don't know if you can see that lighting isn't that great but I used the fun foam doubled it up in little circles on each end and it's just like stoppers to keep it from sliding and the reason why I didn't glue it down is so that I can move it around and fit it the way that I want it if I wanted it a little higher then I can do that if I wanted it lower I can do that if I want to take them out change things around I can do that if you glue it down you can glue it down but if you glue it down it's permanent right and then I saw this somewhere I can't remember where I just remember the idea um, just to keep it in place so that it doesn't fall around um, and all I did was I created a front cover I haven't done anything on the back yet with my name and actually the, the front of the box says 2020 strong and this is my word for the years actually strength or standing strong in grace standing firm so that strength that comes from God will help you push through the difficult times so the idea of this box for me um, at least is to add things that's going to keep me focused on God and keep me focused on the strength that he places in me that I can do this I can do the hard things um, the first one the first prompt that uh, Demeris shared was um, shine bright like a diamond so my first card I haven't done yet so I'll be working on that this week so it's actually a weekly card challenge so that you need to do 52 cards I perhaps do more um, I haven't uh, trimmed off all my cards but I have or shaped them I need to punch them and shape them I haven't done all of them so these still need to go in the back so I got up to I think July or August I just need to do the last couple of months and then I've got my cards pre-done because I know myself if I don't prep this project well I'm going to leave it halfway or a third just start it and not finish it this way I just need to pull out a card and just decorate that card with the stash from the month so this month it's the our story collection and I'm planning on using this little girl in um, my first card with these little bows perhaps some flowers I'm thinking gold foil I'm thinking my blending brushes and a stencil I'm not sure and then at the back I'll do my journaling and um, I need to add a little diamond element um, and I'm still designing that in my head um, you can pop over and see what Demeris has done it's amazing she's very talented so she'll give a lot of ideas and inspiration throughout the year I'm sure I'm going to follow her closely <music> 